Hey everyone, Dan Rose here, your product marketer here at Shelby. Pop quiz, how many apps does it take to create lessons, do all your instruction and modeling, distribute resources, collect work, share feedback, and assess your students' learning progress? Now last year, I'd have said two, but now it's just one. And spoiler, the answer is Shelby. Right in time for back to school, we are super excited to launch our newest product offering called Shelby Assessments. Let me tell you more about it. So. With assessments, we've taken the familiar and flexible quizzing tools that many of you already know and love, and we've embedded them directly into Shobi. You can now create and manage all your assessment content, share libraries of collaborative or standardized resources. You can distribute, schedule, and differentiate assessments, track learning progress with live results, and instantly share feedback on detailed student reports to target those next steps and address misconceptions in the moment more efficiently. Now, the most important part of this is, of course, that you can now do all that within a single platform. As your pedagogical partner, we know how important regular assessment is to advancing teaching and learning and supporting student success. With assessments, we've made it easier for you to consolidate your classroom workflow and reduce the number of platforms you need throughout a lesson. You can also save a ton of time in and out of class and engage your learners more regularly and more consistently with a variety of assessments. So say goodbye to dropping quiz links in Shobi or fumbling through the old room connections of the Socrative integration and say hello to all of the essential assessment tools you need, easily available right within the Shobi platform. Now, if you were previously using the Socrative integration in Shobi, there are a few things you should know. If you're brand new to assessment in Shobi, we'll get you acquainted all the same with a quick tutorial and tour of our new assessments offering. So let's get started. This back to school season, when you sign into your Shobi app, you'll notice a new icon up here in your main menu. Looks like a little circle with a check mark in it. That is your new assessments icon. Now, for the purpose of this tour, I'm using the web version of Shobi, but on the iOS version on an iPad, this icon would appear over here in your menu on the left. So tapping on that icon opens up the assessments workspace. This is where you'll find all of your personal and shared libraries. You can create, manage, and collaborate on content, and you can view any assessments you may have running or reports you want to review. So there's a few key actions in here that will help you make the most of the new assessments tools, and I will show you how to get started. So, in this space, you can join or create a library. You can join a library if you have a colleague that's already using assessments and you wanna share and collaborate on resources. You simply enter this code and you can join and partner up with a friend to work smarter, not harder. You can also create a library of your own if you wanna build out a repository of any assessment contents that you have that you'd like to share at some point with your students. So within your personal library or a shared library, you can also add folders to organize all your assessment content to make it easy to find and quickly access when you need to launch an assessment on the fly or just to speed up some of that prep time and workflow. You can add a folder by simply tapping on this button, adding a folder for let's say a subject, let's say we want to do a folder for geography assessments and it is as simple as that, tap create and it will create a brand new folder for which into which you can organize all of your assessment content. Within these folders, you can also add a variety of subfolders. So in my grade five class, for example, I've added specific folders for science and maths. And within those subfolders, you can begin to populate those with all the resources and assessments that you want to share over the course of a lesson or term. As a part of the launch of Shobi assessments, we did retire the old Shobi Socrative integration. Now, not to worry, if you were previously using the Socrative integration, all of your assessments, folders, and libraries should be right where you left them in Socrative and ready to share with students, just now accessible here in assessments directly. As a part of the transition to Shobi Assessments, we copied all of that Socrative content that you created up to July 22nd and migrated it into Shobi Assessments so that you can hit the ground running this back to school season with all of the resources you need right at your fingertips. With your shared and personal libraries created and your folder and subfolder structures in place for easy access to all of your content, you're now ready to begin adding and creating assessments in your library. Now adding a new assessment to this folder is as easy as heading over to this add quiz button. Tapping on the add quiz button presents you with a screen which gives you four options from which you can create your assessments. The blank quiz option here on the left allows you to create an assessment entirely from scratch. Simply add a name, we will call this demo assessment. Choose the question format you'd like to use for your blank quiz. In this case, we'll use a quick true or false. Add a statement or a question. Select the answer you want your students to choose and an optional explanation if you'd like. And if you'd like to create a more engaging assessment for your class, drag and drop imagery into your question builder or embed video. Now, in this case, I'm gonna call this question baked and adding this question to our assessment is as simple as tapping on this blue check mark here. And you can see that it has created the question for our assessment. Now, if you wanted to add more questions, you can simply repeat that process choosing either short answer, true, false, or multiple choice. But we're gonna call that question baked and we will simply hit save and exit. And you can see that that assessment has now been added to my science class. Now, there are a few other options that will save you a ton of time creating assessment content this year. So heading back to the add quiz button, 
you'll see this generate questions option. This is our AI assisted question builder feature, allowing you to simply add text into this prompt and use AI to generate a variety of questions aligned to your curriculum or learning objectives and tailor those question formats for whatever type of assessment you want to use. So I have a quick prompt I will put in here. I'm asking our AI assisted question builder to generate a science quiz based on the national curriculum for my year five class, specifically focused on food chains and food webs. Now, you can choose the question formats you'd like. I'm gonna remove short answer. I would like to include explanations. And in this case, it's a quick assessment. So we'll just do 10 questions, but you can choose between five through 15. When you have your prompt and your question format selected, simply tap generate down in the bottom corner. And our AI question builder will begin mining the internet to generate those high quality, relevant and classroom ready questions that you can add to a quiz. Now, of course, it's always important to review these. And you can do that by opening up the question, double checking the question, the answers and the explanations. And if these look good, you can simply tap add and it will begin populating a new assessment with these AI generated questions. Now, if you've reviewed them all and they all look good, you can save time doing this in bulk by simply tapping add all questions and it will automatically populate the entire assessment based on that prompt result. Now to add this quiz to your library, simply give it a title. We will call this unit review food webs and then hit save and exit. And you can see that unit review assessment has been added to my science library and is now ready to share with my class. In addition to building your assessment from scratch or using our AI assisted question builder, there's a third option allowing you to copy and paste pre-existing content from other resources directly into assessments and converting it into an assessment you can use and share with your students. To do that, simply head back to the add quiz button, select this third option, copy paste questions, and copy and paste any assessment content you may have floating around in, let's say an ebook or a PDF or a document of some sort dump that directly in here. And through the power of AI, assessments will convert these into questions automatically formatted and structured for a quiz that you can share with your students. Simply tap add, and it will import all that content and convert it into an assessment. All you have to do at this point is give your assessment a title. We will call this unit review food chains and tap save and exit. And now that assessment has also been added to your science library ready to share with students. Now, there is yet a fourth option to create assessment content to build out your library. Heading back to that add quiz button again, there is the import quiz option. Tapping on the import quiz allows you to plug in a code associated with an assessment created by a colleague and tapping that in here allows you to import that quiz directly into your library to share with your students. You can of course also import an assessment via an Excel sheet. Simply choose file down here in the bottom, choose the appropriate Excel file from your back of house and add that to your assessment. With your libraries and all of your assessment content created, we are ready to get down to work. So an awesome feature of assessments is just how easy and truly embedded your assessment workflow really is now. So from a Shobi assignment, you can create an assessment on the fly or launch a prepared assessment from your library simply by tapping on the plus icon and selecting your assessment. So earlier we created some science resources. I'm gonna go straight to my science class now. And we pre-created a resource on biomes earlier. I'm going to go into this assignment. Now I've scheduled this assignment in advance and I want to add that prepared resource to it so that I can just set it and forget it and then simply enable it for students when the time is right for that assessment. So in this activity, you can see I've already provided some instructions and some resources. And like I said, adding that assessment from your library is as simple as heading over to this plus icon. And just as you would add any other resource, you now have the option to add an assessment directly to that assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and select assessment and it's gonna reopen that assessments workspace where we were just creating all of those resources. Now I know that I created this in Mr. Rose's grade five, so I'm gonna to go to the folder I need. I'm gonna go straight to my science subfolder. And just like that, there is my unit review identifying biomes. I'm gonna select this assessment. Now at this stage, you have the opportunity to configure your assessment settings and delivery mode to suit how you wanna engage your learners. So this is gonna be a simple quiz. Uh, we're gonna do instant feedback. I'm going to shuffle the questions so hopefully the students don't copy over each other's shoulders. I'm going to enable question feedback and I want the students to see how they did. So I'm gonna show the final score. So with my settings and my delivery method configured, launching this assessment directly in this assignment in my class is as simple as tapping launch. And when this assignment is live for my students, they'll be able to go access this resource and begin completing that assessment. Now, a couple of quick points I wanna call out here. This assessment appears in the teacher view of the assignment workspace, just like this as an item. There is also this new uh, status bar that identifies whether an assessment is in progress, has been paused or has been completed. Now, once I have set that work as the teacher, my students will all receive a notification in their activity center indicating that I have assigned a specific task or I've created some homework and that I've launched an assessment for them that I would like them to complete.
in the Activity Center bell up here, my students will know that I have created those tasks. They'll know exactly where to find them. So in this instance, Karima could simply navigate to the activity that I've created from here, or she could go into her science folder here and see that I have prepared this week six activity, identifying biomes that will be available and accessible for her to complete next week. Within that assignment, which of course is view only at this point, because I've scheduled that work in advance, she can see that I have attached this assessment, unit review, identifying biomes, once this activity is live and available for my students to complete, they'll be able to complete this assessment by simply tapping the Start button here, which will open that assessment workspace. The students will be able to complete those quizzes as we so carefully created them in our library and tap Done. Now tapping on this assessment, again, reopens that assessment workspace. And as students were completing the questions within that specific assessment, their results would be appearing on a question by question basis in this table view. Now, if you're familiar with Socrative already, or you used the Shobi Socrative integration previously, you will know that this is where the magic of launching an assessment directly in Shobi comes into play. As you can see, all of the student responses, whether they got the question right or wrong, populate in real time and really empower you with the knowledge to either pause that lesson and revisit a concept or address that misconception, spot where students are really succeeding or where other students may be falling behind, and then target your interventions or adapt your teaching on the fly to ensure that everyone is moving at the same pace. Okay, so we've launched our assessment in our activity. For those familiar with the old Shobi Socrative integration, you'll recall that you were limited to running a single quiz at a time in a class, making it tricky to engage students effectively with a variety or multiple types of assessment over the course of a day or a lesson. With Shobi assessments, we've made a huge improvement to that workflow. So now not only can you run multiple assessments within the same class, but you can also run multiple assessments within the same activity. So let's say over the course of an assignment, you want to have a quick formative knowledge check at that start of the lesson. You want to have a lesson starter. Then you have, let's say, a more formal track retrieval. And then you have a larger, more standardized assessment at the end of that unit. Or you want to run a practice quiz alongside some resources. You can now run all of those assessments at the same time within the same bucket of resources that you share with your students. Another great improvement with Shobi assessments is the ability to personalize that learning environment for every learner. Just as you can adapt specific resources to specific students, you can also now adapt specific assessments to an individual or groups of learners. So let's say we have a group of students who are a little bit further behind. They missed some work last week, and we need to make sure they have an opportunity to catch up. I can simply go back to my plus icon here, add an assessment. And these students, let's say, for example, they missed last week's unit review quiz. So I'm going to go back to my science folder here science and they missed last week's assessment on food webs so i'm going to run my food webs assessment i'm going to configure all my settings and my delivery options show final score and i'm going to launch that assessment in this assignment as well now where this gets particularly useful is that i can go into the sharing options here and i can edit those settings to distribute this assessment only to those students that need to make progress on that specific concept or need to catch up who missed that assessment previously so I'm going to go to my edit options up here in this menu. I'm going to deselect all the students that I know have already taken that quiz because I just need Andy and Elliot and Susan and Lizzie to take that assessment. These are my four students that missed it. I'm going to hit save. And now that assessment will have been distributed only to those four students. So as you can see, when I go back over to this assessment, it is only accessible to those four students that need to make up that assessment. Having the ability to really personalize how assessments are distributed to your learners gives you a ton of flexibility to target specific students that may be falling behind or those students that maybe need more challenging resources uh, outside and above and beyond the standard resources that you're sharing with the rest of your class. It is all super easy to tailor and customize within the Shobi assignment workflow. Now, once your assessment is running in your assignment as well, there are a few options within this workspace. So in addition to seeing the live results populate in this table view here, from which you can show results or not show results, show responses or not show responses, or show student names or not show student names, you also have some management controls of the assessment once it's live. So up here in the top right corner, you can pause an assessment. This is great if you need to make an announcement midway through, or for example, you run out of time in a lesson to complete that assessment, you can simply hit pause and then restart it that next day, that next lesson. If all of your students do manage to complete the specific assessment, or you simply, it's a super low stakes assessment and it's not tremendously important and you just need to move on, you can also just finish that activity and that will complete that assessment. 
When your students have completed the assessment or you're simply ready to move on, you can end an assessment by tapping Finish Activity. When you tap on Finish Activity, you'll be presented with two additional options to distribute reports and distribute results. Distributing results ensures that your students can see all of their scores instantly to see where they went wrong, to see what they got right, and where they maybe need to improve. Distributing reports sends a PDF version of the assessment report directly to each student's individual Shelby workspace for them to review their results in greater detail and for you to provide a variety of types of annotation and feedback directly onto that report on a question by question basis or across the entirety of that assessment to really guide and support your learners in their next steps. Once distributed, those reports appear in each student's individual workspace and allow you to go a bit deeper in terms of how you want to provide feedback and support to each of your learners. Just like any other document, you can use any of the annotation tools available in Shelby to really personalize and tailor specific feedback for your learners. Let's say you want to leave a comment. You can type a text comment, great work, and save that. Or you can post a voice note alongside a specific question that maybe your student did really well on or needs a bit more support and guidance on. The great thing about the ability to annotate on the assessment reports directly is that it provides you with a really transparent record of student learning progress over time. All right, folks, well, that was a whirlwind tour of the new Shobi assessments offering and a bit of a deeper look at how we're embedding assessment into the Shobi platform for you this school year. Now, I've only scratched the surface in this brief-ish tutorial, and I do hope you will explore all that assessments has to offer this back to school season. We are super excited to see how educators put assessments to work alongside some recent improvements we've made to the portfolio, to voice note annotations, to the new calendar, as well as the assignment status indicators and our quick marking features. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here today or anything related to assessments or the transition from the old Shobi Socrative of integration to Shobi assessments, please don't hesitate to reach out directly to our team. Be sure to keep an eye on your inboxes in the coming days and in those inboxes in your apps for all of our release messaging, as well as some of those tips and tutorials on how to put assessments to work this back to school. From our team to yours, have an awesome back to school season, and we can't wait to support your teaching and learning. Thanks. Until the next time, folks.